Hi everyone, I'm Shailen here with Read Z. So today we're going to be talking about bad writing habits that you should drop in 2024. This is the third year in the row that we've done this video, so I'll leave the past who editions in the description so you can check them out if you didn't see them. But at the start of every year, I think it's good to talk about really common bad writing habits that you can leave behind in the coming year in order to just have a healthier writing practice. Number one is waiting for motivation rather than creating it. I think motivation is probably the most commonly misused concept in regards to writing and maybe creativity in general because we talk about it as this inherent thing that you either have or you don't and that's not really the case if you don't have motivation it's not about just waiting for it to appear it's about creating it and creating it isn't about forcing yourself to write when you don't want to it's about creating ideal circumstances that are going to make you want to write if you don't have any motivation think about what motivates you is it reading is it organizing your notes is it listening to music? Whatever it is that motivates you, you want to do that actively and incorporate that actively into your life. Instead of waiting for motivation, create it. I think that is one of the best ways to be a more productive writer and to enjoy writing more. Instead of kind of just wallowing, waiting for motivation to happen, zone in on what motivates you as well as what demotivates you. So you can actively do the things that motivate you and actively work around the things that demotivate you. And that leads to number two, which is forcing yourself to write rather than making writing fun. If you feel like you have to force yourself to write, um, like writing is a really difficult task, instead you want to think about how you can make writing more fun and more enjoyable. So it's not something you have to force yourself to do, it's something you want to do. If you feel like writing is something you have to force yourself to do, the solution isn't to just force yourself to do it more, it's to think about how you can make writing more fun so it becomes something you want to do and you don't have to force yourself at all. There are a lot of ways to do this, it's going to be very individual. It might be changing up your writing practice or your writing process in order to make it more fun. Personally, I think one of the best strategies to make writing more fun is actually to focus on like the scenes themselves and making the scenes themselves more fun. Like how can I make this scene really interesting to write? If a scene is boring, how do I make it more interesting to write? Like how do I inject more tension into the scene that's going to make it more compelling and going to make me want to write it? And that usually leads to better writing anyways. So this is going to depend on the person. It might be something to do with your writing environment. It might be something to do with your writing process. It might be something to do with the words themselves. But think about how you can make writing more fun instead of having to force yourself to do it. The third bad writing habit you want to drop in 2024 is giving up rather than changing strategies. If something isn't working, if your book is stuck, if it's not working and you feel like you should give up, think instead about how you can change strategies. This could be changing strategies with how you're approaching writing, your writing process, or the book itself. Maybe you need to really reevaluate how you're telling the story. If you feel like the book is not working, Maybe you have to take a step back and think, should this be from another character's perspective? Should I be structuring this completely differently? Maybe I've started the story in the wrong place. Or maybe if you're struggling to get your words down, maybe you have to change the writing strategies you're using. Maybe you have to switch from outlining to discovery writing or from discovery writing to outlining. Maybe you have to write at a different time of day. Maybe it would be better to write in a more social environment with friends or accountability buddies so you don't feel so alone in the process. If you feel like you've reached a point where you have to give up, Instead of giving up, think about how you can change strategies instead. The next bad writing habit to drop in 2024 is writing for others rather than for yourself. When we write for other people, when we prioritize what we think other people would want to read, what we think the market would want to see, rather than for ourselves, what often happens is that we write kind of stale work that we don't really care about. We lose motivation for it because it's not actually important to us. It can even be easy to do this on a subconscious level. I can think back to a lot of things I wrote when I was younger that I wasn't really writing for myself. On some level, I was kind of writing them for other people. I was writing them because it's what I thought other people would want to read. I was thinking about how I could get other people to like my work. If you write for yourself first, that's how you're going to create work that is important to you, that is meaningful to you, and it's going to be more meaningful to other people as well. The next bad writing habit is trying to write a perfect first draft rather than learning to edit. I think this is one of the most common things that trips writers up, is focusing way too much on writing a, a perfect first draft rather than just writing first draft and accepting it in whatever state it comes out in and instead learning to edit. You don't become a better writer by learning how to write perfect first drafts. You become a better writer by learning how to edit. The more you learn how to edit, the better your first drafts will be, but you can't get to that stage if you're so caught up on the first draft that you never actually complete it. This is one of those things that I think we all know to be true, but it can be very hard to accept, it can be very hard to overcome that perfectionistic instinct. But I think it helps to, instead of framing it as, I need to just overcome my perfectionism and accept that it'll be bad, to instead 
think about the fact that learning to edit is what's going to make you a better writer. That really is where improvement happens. So if you can get the first draft done and edit it, that's where you're actually going to not only improve the book, but improve as a writer. And then your next first draft will probably be stronger. Finally, is viewing feedback emotionally rather than logically. This is also something that can take a lot of practice, but I think it helps to just start really working on it actively in order to get there. Every writer is going to get critical feedback and it can be really difficult to implement if you're viewing feedback emotionally, if you're kind of viewing it as a judgment of your value as a writer or the, even the story itself, rather than just viewing it logically. These are some problems in my draft. This is how I can fix them. The more objectively and logically you can view feedback on your work, the easier it will be to implement because you won't be viewing it from this very subjective and emotional lens. It can take a lot of practice to actually be able to implement this viewpoint, but the more you can really work on it actively, the more effectively you'll be able to get feedback on your work. And getting feedback on your work won't be as scary. I'd love to know what bad writing habits you are working to improve on or get rid of and leave behind in 2024. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos from us. We've got new writing, editing, and publishing tips every Friday on this channel. Until next time, bye.